Located just 60 kilometers from Bangalore is a town with centuries of history in the art of toy making. Known as the Toy City of Karnataka, Chandapatna has been protected as a geographical indication since 2005, which means that no other than those residing inside this town and authorized users are allowed to use that name. Being a filmmaker, I wanted to capture the talented artisans who make it all happen, learn a bit about its history, and understand the process of wooden toy making. The origin of Chandapatna toys is traced to Tipu Sultan, who had invited Persian artisans to train the local ones in making wooden toys in the 18th century. For learning about this art, I visited Bharat Arts and Craft, who have been in this business for more than five generations. Their workshop is located at Chandapatna Crafts Park, which is India's first ever craft park. I'm right now in front of a factory. Where these beautiful, intricate toys are made. So let's go inside, take a look around, and understand how these toys are made. Then let's go and see where they are sold, and tell you a little bit about the history and the peak point of its popularity as well. Let's go. I was greeted by Mr. Srinivas, who was the manager of the workshop, and who has been making toys himself for more than 18 years. As a matter of fact, he was able to create a small wooden toy. From scratch in less than five minutes. Chenna Patna toys are predominantly made from soft ivory wood and then coated with lacquer, which is made from vegetable dyes. These dyes are used in the coloring process to ensure that the toys and dolls are non-toxic and safe for use by children. Each piece is done by hand, and the process starts with procuring ivory wood from local wood suppliers, and then seasoning it for one to three months, depending on the size of the planks. Wooden shavings and dust fly about, coating the room as the woodworkers cut the wood to the required sizes. Once that is done, the block is spun on a turning lathe to shape the toy. Once the wood is turned into the desired shape, the lacquer stick is held against the wooden piece while it is still on the lathe. The lac melts with the heat produced by friction. And transfers the color to the surface of the wood. Isn't that just so cool? The lacquer is spread uniformly over the surface with the help of a dried palm leaf, and this also helps give it a shine and luster to the toy. Plenty of small factories available over here. Each one of them is dedicated to a store which is located within the city. So you can come here and then see how the locals work in these factories and create these beautiful small toys. After the workshop, we decided to visit the retail shop and purchase some toys from there.
the toys of Chennapatna so valued that they were even gifted to US President Barack Obama by the state government back in 2015 when he was visiting India for Republic Day. After spending a couple of hours and seeing the artisans in action and learning about the details behind the art, it was obvious to me that the real charm of Channapatna is that the craft is not practiced in large-scale industries but within the confines of small homes and workshops. I'd highly recommend and encourage you to visit this town and experience it for yourself. Until next time, have a good one.